welcome to the VTU e Shikshan program in engineering chemistry. This is my third session. In our second session, we discussed about various green chemical synthesis. Under that, we discussed microwave synthesis, phase transfer catalysis, biocatalyzed reaction, solvent less reactions, their merits and demerits. We also discussed the synthesis of industrially important compounds like adipic acid by conventional method and green root method and their merits and demerits. And second important compound that is paracetamol. So how this paracetamol synthesized by conventional method taking an example of this nitrophenol. This is a nitrophenol. Nitrophenol upon reduction in presence of a reducing agent like tin in HCl, a good reducing agent, it gives amines that is para aminophenol and this para aminophenol I am taking like this para aminophenol further treated with acetic anhydride In presence of 3 to 4 drops of sulfuric acid, it gets condensed and forms paracetamol. along with acetic acid. And this conventional method has so many demerits or drawbacks. To overcome these demerits or drawbacks, the same paracetamol synthesized by another route called green root or green synthesis. Green root or green synthesis. Taking an example this you call Parahydroxyacetophenone. What do you call parahydroxyacetophenone? If it is treated with hydrogen peroxide along with ammonia, in presence of TS1 catalyst. So, I am referring TS1 catalyst is nothing but titanium 4 silicate catalyst. And this TS1 catalyst will control the oxidation of ammonia in presence of hydrogen peroxide to hydroxyl amine stage only. It will control the oxidation of ammonia 
in presence of hydrogen peroxide to hydroxyl amine stage only means it will form NH2OH stays only and the formed NH2OH during the course of a chemical reaction will attack on this carbonyl carbon of the ketone this carbon and it will forms oxymes we know whenever a carbonyl compound reacts with hydroxyl amine it forms an oxymes it leads to the formation of oxyme so i am going to write the oxyme structure like this c double bond n o h here will be c h 3 and here will be o h oxam will be formed and these oxam undergoes Beckman's rearrangement Beckman's Beckman's rearrangement rearrangement and leads to the formation of our desired product that is nothing but paracetamol it leads to the formation of our desired product that is paracetamol so this is the green synthesis of paracetamol what I told the compound that is parahydroxyacetophenone reacts with the mixture of hydrogen peroxide along with ammonia in presence of TS1 catalyst it forms oxymes of the parahydroxyacetophenone and which undergoes Beckman's rearrangement it gives paracetamol and at time economy for this synthesis is 100% and it is having so many merits over the conventional methods over the previous method it does not liberate any harmful byproducts the atom economy of this reaction is very high third one it make use of catalytical reagent that is here we are using a catalyst that is a TS1 so therefore it is more better to prepare the <coughs> paracetamol by this method rather than the previous method next one <coughs> the very important concept in green chemistry atom economy in synthesis as we know the second principle of uh, green chemistry explains something about atom economy in order to achieve high selectivity in synthesis industries use stoichiometric quantities of efficient reagents which generate significant amount of waste therefore to reduce or to avoid the waste new concept of chemical synthesis has been evaluated that is called atom economy so atom economy represents how much of the reactants are ends up in a final product always an ideal synthesis is incorporation of all the atoms of the reactants into a final product ideal synthesis means whatever the reactant taking part in a chemical reaction should converted into a desired product this will reduce 
the formation of the waste and the atom economy can be calculated by making use of equation. So that is the percentage of atom economy can be calculated by the formula, formula weight of desired product, not all product, I repeat, formula weight of desired product divided by formula weight of all reagents or reactants, reactants into 100. I repeat, the percentage of atom economy can be calculated by the formula percentage of atom economy is equals to formula weight of desired product divided by formula weight of all the reactants taking part in a reaction into 100. Consider an example of the formation of ethylene oxide. This is an example ethylene oxide CH2 CH2O. This is ethylene oxide and ethylene oxide can be synthesized by two ways. One is by chlorohydrin route, another one by catalytical route. And I am selling ethylene oxide is very important compound used for the preparation of ethylene glycol and ethylene glycol is used in car radiator to reduce the freezing point of the solution. It is also used for the preparation of polymers like PET, ethers, etc. The classical synthesis, the old conventional method for the synthesis of ethylene oxide involved two steps or it is a two steps process called chlorohydrine rope. So, the table 1 represents the atom economy for the chlorohydrin route, which is having the atom economy 23 percent, very very less. So, ethene is allowed to react with chlorine in presence of water, it form chloroethanol, the form the chloroethanol further reacts with calcium hydroxide in presence of HCl whatever this is form and it form ethylene oxide. I repeat once again the chlorohydrin route involved two steps. It involved two steps. In the first step ethene is allowed to react with chlorine in presence of water it form chloroethanol along with HCl. Chloroethanol further reacts with calcium hydroxide. It forms ethylene oxide along with calcium chloride form. If you want to calculate the atom economy for this process, we have to prepare the chart. So here, the reagent formula. What are the reagent taking part in this chemical reaction? We are using ethene, we are using chlorine, water, calcium hydroxide. All these are the say formula of the reagents taking part in a chemical reaction. In other words, reagent formula. And uh, this is the reagent formula weight. So, the weight of this is uh, 28 C2H4, 2 carbon 24, 4 hydrogen 4 that is 28, so chlorine 71, water 18, calcium hydroxide 74. So, therefore, the reagent formula weight is 191. That is, we are using 191 if it is expressed in grams. 191 grams of the reagents are taking part in a chemical reaction. And what are the utilized items? Uh, our desired product is this one. Our desired product is 
ethylene oxide this is our desired product means the desired product contain two carbon four hydrogen and one oxygen so utilized atoms are two carbon four hydrogen and one oxygen so two carbon and four hydrogen from this and one oxygen from water so therefore the utilized atoms for this reaction is two carbon four hydrogen and one oxygen if you look at the weight of the utilized atom two carbon four hydrogen it comes to about 28 so one oxygen it comes to 16 so therefore the weight of the utilized atom is 44 and unutilized atoms they are present in the reactant side but not in the product side means desired product side so here chlorine is there at the reactant side but it is not there in the desired product therefore 2 chlorine so 2 hydrogen and this calcium 2 hydrogen and 2 oxygen totally 4 hydrogen 2 oxygen 1 calcium and 2 chlorine atoms are there on the reactant side but not there on the desired product the weight of the utilized atoms here so 2 chlorine that is 71 2 hydrogen so that is 2 so this comes 74 calcium comes 40 plus 2 plus uh, 32 it will come 74 total 147 the weight of the unutilized atoms it comes unutilized sorry unutilized atoms so therefore the percentage of atom economy percentage of atom economy that is formula weight of utilized atom divided by formula weight of all the reactants into 100 so that is formula weight of utilized atom is 44 and formula weight of uh, all the reactant is 191 into 100 it comes to 23 percent therefore the atom economy for this uh, chlorohydrin route for the synthesis of ethylene oxide is only 23 percent 23 point something it means what only 23 percent of the reactants taking part in a reactions are converted into useful product rest of that say 77 percent of the reactants involved in a chemical reactions are not converted into a desired product so in order to overcome this another method is designed and developed called catalytical route so this uh, catalytical route for the synthesis of ethylene oxide is a one step process yes so where ethene is allowed to react with the oxygen in presence of a catalyst so that it will form ethylene oxide one mole of ethene allowed to react with half mole of oxygen it presence of a catalyst it forms ethylene oxide and if you calculate the atom economy for this synthesis it comes to 100 percent so here also reagent formula what are the reagent we are taking ethene c2h4 this is c2h4 so half mole of oxygen total we are taking two carbon four hydrogen and one oxygen so reagent formula weight so ethene it comes to 28 half mole of oxygen it comes to 16 and total 44 if it is expressed in grams 44 grams of the reagents reactants are involved in a chemical reaction utilized atoms so here our desired product contain two carbon four hydrogen and one oxygen therefore 
two carbon and four hydrogen from here and one oxygen from here. So therefore all the reagents taken part here now taking part. So therefore weight of the utilized atom it comes to 44. An unutilized atom so not at all anything is left out. So therefore dash dash and weight of unutilized atoms that is 0 and 0. And if you calculate the percentage of atom economy for this synthesis. So again percentage of atom economy is equals to formula weight of utilized atoms divided by formula weight of all the reactants or reagents into 100. So it comes to 44 divided by 44 into 100 that comes to 100 percent. Therefore, the atom economy for this catalytical route is 100 percent. Whatever the reactants are taken part in a chemical reactions are get converted into useful product. Therefore, compared to chlorohydrin route, the catalytical route is superior. Whereas chlorohydrin root is having atom economy 23% and catalytical root is having atom economy 100%. Therefore, it is better to prepare ethylene oxide by catalytical root rather than chlorohydrin root. So, second example I want to quote very important that is methyl methacrylate represented as MMA. Uh, you know methyl methacrylate is an organic compound having the formula CH2 double bond C, CH3, CO, CH3. So this is a colorless liquid represented as MMA and MMA is produced on a large scale for the production of a polymethyl methacrylate. And you know polymethyl methacrylate, it belongs to the group of materials called, called engineering plastics. Polymethyl methacrylate is called by the name engineering plastics. And this polymethyl in methacrylate is a transparent thermoplastic material, is also known as acrylic glass or flexi glass. And it has a trade name Krylex or Flexi Glass Acrylides. This plastic is often used in the seat form as a lightweight shutter resistance to glass. It can also be used as a casting in resin and in polymers. How this methyl methacrylate is to be synthesized? So, come to the point uh, atom economy for the preparation of uh, methyl methacrylate from acetone. Here, methyl methacrylate is prepared from acetone. Here, this is the acetone. So, acetone is allowed to react with hydrogen cyanide. It forms an intermediate compound and this intermediate compound further allowed to react with methanol, it forms methyl methacrylate. I repeat once again, acetone is taken here, it reacts with HCN, it forms an intermediate compound that is a cyano compound and it further reacts with methanol. In presence of concentrated H2SO4, it forms methyl methacrylate. If you calculate the atom economy for this synthesis, the formula weight of all the reagents taken part in a reaction. So, a reagents one is uh, acetone, other one is uh, HCN, third one is uh, methanol, fourth one is uh, sulfuric acid. Here we are making use of four reagents, acetone, HCN, here HCN, then methanol, 
and sulfuric acid. And formula weight of all the reagents taken part in this chemical reaction. So acetone it comes to about 58, HCN it comes to about 27, methanol 32, sulfuric acid 74. So total it comes to 215, total it comes to 215. And what happens here, the utilized item means our desired product contain so 5 carbon, 2 oxygen and 8 hydrogen. Our desired product contain, this is our desired product that is methyl methacrylate. And this methyl methacrylate contains 5 carbon items, 2 oxygen items and 8 hydrogen items. And if you calculate weight of the utilized item, so that is 64 carbon, 5 carbons, so, 2 hydrogen, sorry, 8 hydrogen, it comes to 8, then 2 oxygen, it comes to 32, 8 hydrogen, it comes to 8, total it comes to 100, it is 100, not 100 plus. Means, weight of the utilized atoms here is 100. Total weight of the reactants, or reagents is 215. And unutilized atoms, the remaining, I mean left out part, that is 5 hydrogen, 1 sulfur, 4 oxygen and 1 nitrogen. These are the unutilized atom. They are present at the reactant side, but not on the product side. I mean desired product side. So, 5 hydrogen comes to 5, 1 sulfur 32, 4 oxygen 64, 1 nitrogen 14. It comes to 115. So therefore, percentage of atom economy, as we know, percentage of atom economy is nothing but formula weight of desired product divided by formula weight of all the reagents into 100. That is, percentage of atom economy represented as formula weight of desired product divided by formula weight of all the reagents into 100. Here, 100 divided by 215 into 100. So that is nothing but 46.51 more or less 47 percent. Think of it only 47 percent more or less 47 percent of the reactants are converted into desired product. And what about remaining 53 percent is a waste. and that will affect the environment. If that waste is released into the environment, definitely it gives some adverse effect to the environment. So as to minimize the waste generation, so as to improve the atom economy, the another synthetic method is to be designed. That is synthesis of uh, methyl methacrylate from propyne, that is an alkyne. So here I have taken alkyne, I have taken here now alkyne. Alkynes are treated with carbon monoxide in presence of uh, what you call methyl alcohol or methanol using palladium catalyst. It forms methyl methacrylate. It is a single step process. Propyne is an alkyne, reacts with carbon monoxide in presence of methanol using palladium as a catalyst. It forms methyl methacrylate. A single step process. If you calculate the atom economy for this synthesis, what happens? So here the formula of all the reagents taken part in a reaction. So one is uh, propyne, 
that is CS3, C triple bond CH. So another one is carbon monoxide. Third one is uh, methyl alcohol. We are not taking palladium, it is a catalyst and we are using a pinch of a catalyst. A very small quantity of catalyst taken part in a reaction. So here the formula weight of all the reagents are all the reactants taken part in a reaction. So propane comes to 40, uh, I am just sorry. Formula weight of uh, all the reagents here propane comes to 40, carbon monoxide comes to 28, so methanol comes to 32, so that it comes to 100 the formula weight of all the reagents. Utilized atom, our desired product contains 5 carbon, 2 oxygen, 8 hydrogen. So therefore weight of the utilized atom is 60, that is 5 carbon it comes to 60, 2 oxygen it comes to 32 and 8 hydrogen it comes to 8, so that it is 100. If it is expressed in grams, the 100 grams of the reactants are converted into utilized atoms and there is no unutilized atom everything whatever the reactant taken part in a reaction or get converted into product means there is no unutilized atom and there is no weight of the unutilized items therefore the percentage of atom economy that is nothing but formula weight of desired product divided by formula weight of all the reagents into 100, so it comes to 100 percent. Think of it, so the atom economy for this synthesis that is from propane is 100 percent. So previous one was uh, nearly about 47 percent, that is if you prepared methyl methacrylate from acetone, the atom economy is 47 percent and same methyl methacrylate if you prepare from propyne, the atom economy is 100 percent. Means cost of the production here will decrease, discharge of the byproducts into the environment will be eliminated. Rate of the reaction is very fast because it is a single step process. So separation of the product not at all required, purification of the product is also not at all required. So therefore the synthesis of methyl methacrylate from propane is more convenient more better compared to preparation of methyl methacrylate from acetone. I would like to give some simple example to calculate the atom economy. The first one, you might have seen this reaction that is a C12. H22 O11 glucose sorry this is the sucrose so hydrolysis of the sucrose it gives C6 H12 O6 plus C6 H12 O6 glucose and fructose It leads to the formation of, it gives the formation of glucose and fructose. And this glucose, if you consider C6H12O6, if it is uh, treated with uh, oxygen, it gives C2H5. OH along with CO2. So here if you consider, so 
this is the two molecules so <coughs> here also two so four carbon plus two carbon six so 12 hydrogen and six oxygen so calculate the atom economy for this conversion that is conversion of glucose into ethanol calculate the atom economy for this conversion atom economy for this conversion so here now so how to calculate this uh, atom economy I'll directly go for uh, say <coughs> percentage of atom economy percentage of atom m if you calculate you have to take the <coughs> formula weight of desired product so here desired product so I am taking this is the glucose is yes. so formula weight of the desired product that is ethanol if you compare calculate the ethanol so it contain 4 carbon so what happens 60 uh, sorry 48 plus uh, so it contain I, I am going to write it here now it contain 4 carbon then uh, say so comes uh, 11 ox hydrogen then comes to oxygen so if you calculate here 4 carbon 48 so 11 hydrogen it comes 11 to oxygen means 32 so it comes 91 so 91 is the formula weight of the reagents react as uh, a desired product and the uh, formula weight of the say, reactant here so it comes to 72 plus 12 plus 96 so it comes 180 180 for this along with uh, 32 how much it comes this is 2 212 means 91 divided by 212 into 100 so if you do the calculation if you do the calculation here the atom economy for this synthesis that is 91 divided by 212 that comes to 42 say into 100 that is it comes nearly about 42 percent I would like to quote another example for the calculation of a simple atom economy that is CH2 single bond CH double bond CH2 this you call it as a propene 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 when reacts with uh, chlorine it forms it forms Cl CH2 single bond CH double bond CH2 along with HCl that is 
allyl chloride will be formed. Propene when reacts with chlorine, it forms allyl chloride. So, how to calculate atomic economy for this synthesis means a very simple process. So, first you have to calculate the formula weight of this desired product. This is the desired product which contain 3 carbon, 3 carbon, it contain so 5 hydrogen and it contain 1 chlorine. So, 3 carbon it comes to 36, 5 hydrogen it comes to 5 and 1 chlorine that is 35.5. So, total it will comes 1676. The formula weight of the desired product here is 76.5. And what is the formula weight of the all the reagents are react and taken part in a reaction. So that we are using propene, that propene contain 3 carbon, 5 hydrogen and uh, 2 chlorine atoms. So here 3 carbon it comes to 36. So 5 hydrogen it comes to 5 and 2 chlorine it comes to 71. Total it will comes this is 12, this is uh, 11, so 112 into 100. So therefore, if you calculate the atom economy for this synthesis, atom economy for this synthesis that is 76.5 divided by 112 into 100 it comes to 68.3 percent means 68.3 percent of the reactant taken part in a chemical reactions get converted into a useful products and the last example I want to quote I want to give that is conversion of uh, one aromatic synthesis that is nitrobenzene, conversion of nitrobenzene or reduction of nitrobenzene to amines NH2 plus it gives H2O. So, here I am taken uh, say if I take now this comes uh, 3H2. So, how to calculate the atom economy for this synthesis? So, very simple reaction. So, before to synthesize this amine that is uh, aniline here, calculate the atom economy for this synthesis. So, aniline that is nothing but here C6H5 NH2 means 6 carbon, 5 hydrogen, 1 nitrogen, 2 hydrogen atoms, 72, this is 5, this is 14, this is 2. So, total it will come 7 plus uh, 4, 11, 11 plus 2, that is 13. So, 7, 8, 9, this is 93. So, this is 93 and what about this one? So, this is I am just writing here now C6 H5 NO2. So, this is uh, 6 carbon 72 plus 5 plus 14 plus uh, 32. So, it comes to 13. 123, 123 plus this is 6 that is nothing but 129. So, here the percentage of atom economy that is percentage of atom economy we want to calculate. So, it comes to 
93 divided by 129 into 100. So, this will come. So, if I just calculate 93 divided by 129, it will come to 72 percent. That is 72.09 percent. Means, before to synthesize any of the chemical, we should know its atom economy. The same way it is possible to calculate atom economy for paracetamol, atom economy for other drugs like ibuprofen, etc., etc. I hope you understood this concept of green chemistry that is atom economy. I would like to discuss the remaining part in the next session.